Hey everybody, it's me, your old pal Dan Classic, and I'm back at it again with another brand new episode of the Raz and Dan Show. And it wouldn't be the Raz and Dan Show without my co-host. He has been creating content for the internet for, I guess, the last five years. He is celebrating 3,000 subscribers on his YouTube channel. Um, he is a, a, a man who is uh, single and looking to mingle. He enjoys long walks at the swap meet. His mother named him Raul. Uh, some ladies call him Toy Boat, but I just call him Raz. Ladies and gentlemen, show some fucking respect to the one, the only, Razor Raz Holly. Raz Holly, what's going on, sir? Hey, not much. Thanks for the, uh, yeah, for the 3,000 subscribers and the... Uh, Five years, both at the same time. That's pretty cool. Congratulations, man. Congratulations. Thank you. That's really awesome. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You've been around for a while uh, making videos on your own channel, which, of course, link in the description. Uh, you can go check that out. Um, after, after the show, after you check this out, then you can go yes. to Raz's channel and, and watch him and subscribe to him. Of course, you're probably already subscribed to him. Let's not fuck around and act like fucking he doesn't have more than 10 times the subscribers that I do. But regardless, regardless of that, it is, it is a beautiful Saturday afternoon. And uh, today we are here to talk about toys. And uh, first up on the, uh, on the docket here, um, because of uh, COVID-19 and uh, the different re restrictions and shit, there was no toy fair this year. And, right. um, and because of that, all the toy companies did different shit online. And specifically who we're going to talk about is who we were talking about last time. Here they come again. <laughs> fucking Mattel. Um, to give us a little fucking story. Or tell us what's going on with Mattel and their and their toy fair-esque presentation this year so i mean the only thing i really paid attention to was the masters stuff because you know we've been waiting for that forever me and you being masters fans right and they do have the uh they announced the, of course the new uh he-man and the masters of the universe uh show that's gonna be more aimed for kids right. and then we got the uh what is it uh masters of the universe revelations or uh you know, all those terms that they always use over and over and over again from the 90s. It, so, it's called yeah. colon some word, right? Yeah, for every yeah. Sequel. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Jason X. Yeah. Masters, Masters of the Universe, of the X. universe Nemesis. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's, so, what we, that's the next insurrection. one. Insurrection. Masters of the Universe, Insurrection. <laughs> insurrection. Yeah, that's, the, that's after Nemesis. Yeah. Um, but, they, but right now, it's it, it, it's revelation is the uh, is the yes. masters of the universe uh, <laughs> so. Netflix series, I suppose, um, or at least that's what. And that's the more adult the one. Photo that we saw of the He Man um, and and riding on Battle Cat, and this caused a little bit of controversy uh, when, when it was <laughs> it's so funny. It's like if you motherfuckers, because you, I know you're all watching all the guys on Underworld Collectors. Fucking and when you when they posted that picture up and, and all you guys started just bitching like oh my god it's terrible if you don't look at it it's just, they, what did they do to battle cat <laughs> it's okay remember if it was I know it was a long time ago but all the way back in 2018 they did a Voltron series on Netflix. Um, that yep. series was actually pretty, pretty critically acclaimed. People liked it, I guess. I don't know. I didn't watch, I watched fucking cartoons. So fucking, <laughs> like, honestly, I'm not 10 years old, so I didn't fucking watch it. But I heard that people liked it and they had two lines of toys, right? They had a line of Voltron toys that were the classic versions of the, yep. of the they were new toys, but they were like the old stuff that we grew up with. And they had the, the stuff that was based on the Netflix show. Was that so bad that they fucking did a little bit of a, an update, a redesign or whatever? And that's what, that's, in my opinion, that's all this is. And I'll show a picture as I'm talking about it. This, uh, this He-Man, he is, it is kind of a drastic change. Um, but I think that Battle yeah. Cat looks fucking dope. And that sword that He Man has is fucking sick looking. It actually is, looks better than the than the his sword that he has 
it might be sacrilege to some motherfuckers, but I don't care. <laughs> what, what do you think of that stuff, Raz? I don't know. I mean, I've never really been a fan of like the sharp edges on on stuff like that. Like a lot of sharp edges are just too edgy, I guess, pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> So it's it's just too, you know, why does everything have to look like a Picasso, you know, like cartoons these days? And this is kind of like the same thing where it's like, okay, you know, I kind of wish that they didn't um, go too far to the extreme and just like, oh, yeah, look at him. He's like super wide on top and a tiny head on, you know, after that. But um, But I understand this is not for me. This is for, you know, new, like, kids of these days and that's what they put out so that's yeah, perfectly you, fine yeah, i still have origins yeah if you, you know? look at bakugan or pokemon or yeah Rebermon, like any of the new shit that like kids are into Demon. that's what it looks like it's lots of sharp <laughs> edges and it looks like big fucking crazy dragon and stuff like that that's what kids like hey man i'm not a fucking little kid that's fine yeah. if you want to make something that little kids are actually going to want to go get you if you're honest, if you're honest about wanting to introduce this to a new generation of yeah. kids, then we you have to, to kind of gear it toward them. Yes, fucking 40 years ago, kids were going to be into different shit. 40 years before then, kids were going to be into different shit. They were playing with the goddamn hoop and the stick and shit. <laughs> fucking at that point, it's 80 you years can ago. And so, shooting but, marbles. Yeah, so, so yeah, you're looking at something from the early 80s that, that does, it does need an update. It does need to yeah. uh, look a little different. Fucking Conan the Barbarian ain't exactly fucking pulling the kids in nowadays. They aren't <laughs> lining up around the block to watch Schwarzenegger's sword and sandals movies. So, <laughs> in the modern times you have to play like to the modern audience and that's what it's about and they haven't abandoned the fucking origins line yeah the origins line's going to remain and you also have the master verse which is another yet another fucking line of collectors style adult fucking focused figures that i'm sure the uh, the fucking scalpers will have a field day uh, with right yes. Yeah, no, definitely. Well, I mean, what do you uh, think of those those uh those Masterverse figures? So, I mean, to me, He Man just looks a little sad. I know it's like a low res <laughs> picture, but he looks so melancholy <laughs> running on top of Battle Cat. Um, Skeletor looks fine. Uh, Evil Lynn, I think they should have showed her off with the other head instead of with the white hair, and that probably would have caught people a little bit more because I can't. I can't really picture it when I see the when I see it. I can't really swap the heads in my She's mind. It's hard to recognize with yeah. the, with the long hair um, yeah. down. Yeah. So maybe they should have done that to just catch more of the attention. Then uh Battle Cat's round head, um, I don't know, it kinda bothers me a bit. It looks a little empty. Like something's missing. But other like than that, one I mean, of those uh like a like an escalade. Like an escalade. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. So yeah, it's just it looks like something's missing there, but other than that, whatever, it's fine. I'm probably not gonna get these things. Well, I'm gonna stay with dude, the origin. I, good luck, because if you wanted to find these things, you're not going to. Like these no. things, the scalpers are gonna fucking come in just like they did with the classics line. The fucking yeah. they'll, they'll be hundreds of fucking dollars after they come out. Like they'll be up for pre order, they'll be gone, and then they'll be three hundred dollars a piece. Yeah. Um, so good luck trying to find Masterverse figures. Um, I, for one, won't be collecting them because I know goddamn well I'm not going to be able to find them because yeah. these goddamn scalpers um, are just, you know, they, they don't give a fuck. They're going to fucking snap these things up just like they do with everything else. And all you motherfuckers are going to let them. It sucks because the scalpers have this this stuff and people want it, so they pay for it. And it's like, Maybe if we all stopped paying for for this stuff, you know, from scalpers, I've done it maybe like three times. Right. Um, but if we did that, maybe they would fucking stop. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Yeah, and speaking yeah, of but scalpers, then it's like, I yeah. know you had something to say about these goddamn scalpers today. We oh, have, my God. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I present to you um, <laughs> from the, the uh, official Lenard YouTuber, Raz Hawley presents – uh, 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 an inside look at scalpers. 
Go. <laughs> so the other day I, you know, I went to Target just to go find something, you know, just, just, just to go look around, you know, maybe I could find something. Right. And there was this line, I went to go pay for my uh, cars because I've been collecting cars, like Disney's cars. And um, there's this long line what of are people. You fucking like, five? <laughs> They're actually not too bad. They're pretty cool. They're pretty cool uh, little cars. So, right. but anyway, I, I, you know, I'm I'm paying for my stuff, and I asked the guy like, "What's that line for?" And the guy goes, "Oh, we finally got Pokemon cards in." <laughs> and everyone in that line, you could tell, did not play Pokemon or care about Pokemon. <laughs> it was like the big fat guys with, you know, like. Bald, bald heads and beards. Hey, not, fuck not you. Like, I wasn't there. Like day classic, but... I didn't even know that there was a new Pokemon fucking out. No, but um, but there no, but it was like these like you know like fat guys. You could tell like you know they're wearing like their sports shirt or something, and they, they just look sloppy as hell. And they're in this line. Why do you keep you fucking describing me? Fucking, <laughs> you know, you know, Tommy Tune yourself there, pal. It's funny because as I was describing it, I didn't realize that it was just like you until like after. But no, um, it was it's just like your typical, like you could just tell that these motherfuckers were in it for the money. Right, right. They're speculating. And, um, yeah. and even at work, I mean, I work at a place where, you know, people ship things and yeah, people were bringing those things in and, you know, we ask how much, uh, what's the value of the item so that way we could put insurance on it or whatever. Um, yeah, a guy said $800. And it's just like, it sucks, you know, because there, there's kids that like to play this game. Right. And they're not going to get to play it. Right, and this right. is not like the Nintendo Classic where it's like, you know, right, oh, the right. kids. Like where only people our age wanted it in the first fucking place. Yeah. So it wasn't really that big of a deal if you couldn't find one. It's like, hey, suck it up. You're a fucking adult. You know, you're not going to get everything you want in life. <laughs> yeah, <know>? so <laughs> this is like real, like, kids things. Yeah, man. yeah, this is a thing that's made for kids. And this is going to be the same motherfuckers that are going to be bitching about how, like, none of these kids are into fucking Pokemon anymore like it was <laughs> when I was growing up. It was like, well, why the fuck? fuck do you think motherfuckers because you're driving all the goddamn collectors out of the market and all the all those new people that would, would get into it otherwise aren't gonna get in because you and your fucking fat ass friends have to fucking scalp every goddamn thing because you think you're fucking big time hustlers or some shit and you're just a bunch of pieces of garbage hanging out at walmart in the fucking what like seven o'clock in the morning yeah Jesus Not just Christ. that. Get a fucking also, job. <laughs> also, McDonald's have been, has been selling out of their Happy Meal toy that's right now, and that's Pokemon cards. So, of course. Of course. So, of course, they're going in and they're buying them by the case. And it's like, uh, you guys are fucking kidding me. And fucking yeah, it, it, it just Pokemon sucks cards. for. I mean, I know we're talking about Pokemon cards, but this just goes with everything, you know? Like, and scalpers are start. they're starting to <laughs> get pissed at. The way that we see them, <laughs> yeah. There's, they're, they're just like we're the middleman. We're not doing any harm. It's like you know who the middleman is? Walmart. Yeah, it's yeah, hard, yeah. Kids. You're not the middleman. You're an extra man. You're fucking exactly. squeezing your ass in where it doesn't belong, and you're trying to fucking take a take a bite off the backside. And you know what? You don't fucking belong. You don't. You no. shouldn't be doing this. If you want to start a business. Go get yourself a fucking retail license. Go fucking start a website. Open a goddamn store. Fucking figure out a way to buy things wholesale. Yep. And then do that. But yep. don't fucking do this thing where you're fucking stalking the goddamn toy aisles at 7 o'clock in the morning like a pedophile. And fucking and come in there and take it up all the shit. The fucking like little kids and collectors are fucking looking for because yeah. you know honestly there is all this stuff is mass produced. There's enough to go around, yeah. but these motherfuckers create a, a, a fucking artificial shortage of these things. Yeah, what was the last thing you got from a scalper? Today I bought fucking the AEW Pac figure for forty four dollars and change off of uh, 
WalmartScalpy.com. Fucking, you know how Walmart's got the third parties that sell stuff through Walmart? Yeah, (laughs) <laughs> and so yeah. it's where i could find it because i had another guy who i thought was like a fucking reputable seller of things and i i messaged him and i'm like hey dude um can i get like one of those pock figures and he's like oh well yeah i might be able to do it i have a guy that wants to buy it but you know we'll see what happens with that and and he's like you know well how much you know what's your budget i'm like what's my fucking budget it's a 20 dollar goddamn <laughs> figure like i don't want to pay like why do you think i'm going out of my way to fucking message you Uh, fucking because i because (laughs) i want to pay fucking ebay prices like motherfucker i should just go and that's what i did it was like you know what i'm just gonna go online and buy one fucking where i don't have to pretend to be somebody's (laughs) fucking buddy to fucking buy it and i pay the same and i get the figure and I don't have what to fucking worry figure? about fucking having How much a, you got. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't have to fucking sit here and be like, I don't know how much do you want for it. I don't know. How much is it worth? Well, the market value. Suck my fucking dick. It's fucking bullshit. Yeah, that was the last thing I fucking bought from a scalper because I was I was just like fucking, I'm through with it. I'm through with it. Yeah, I don't yeah. fucking deal with these idiots. Yeah, last thing I got from a scalper was about two months ago. And it was uh, the Green Ranger Spectrum box. So God that was the last thing I bought. <laughs> and then before box. that, it was even further back. I don't even remember, but yeah. <laughs> what a fucking ripoff, the fucking Spectrum box, the, the holographic. <laughs> we, already, we already fucking went over that last time. Um, but here we are. We're, we're kind of coming up to, to almost here uh, to the end of our time today. Uh, I'd like to keep it kind of short. Um, because the, honestly, these fucking videos are a pain in my ass to edit. The longer it is, the longer it fucking takes to edit. And I don't want to be like on a fucking Thursday night going, Jesus Christ, I got to get this thing out. Like I, yeah. I want to, I want to have, I want to have less stress in my life, not more. Um, so, so we'll, we'll keep it short, but we'll be back again, uh, in another month, um, for yeah. a, a whole other episode of the Raz and Dan show. Um, and in the meantime, um where can we see you raz so you guys can uh check out my channel that would be ruby bandit and uh of course i do like lots of different toys uh the you know core videos <laughs> or lenard videos i should really say so did somebody say lenard did somebody yeah. say lenard <laughs> so yep and then uh as you can see i'm actually working on um a multi-part hook review so uh and i'm i actually got some help from uh dan classic on uh the first part so so yeah <laughs> it's gonna have a little bit of your your touches on there well uh, yeah well i mean i expect to see you know special thanks dan classic couldn't have done oh, yeah. without you all that all that good stuff so yeah you can go and you can check out raz holly at his uh youtube channel he also has uh, you also have facebook all that good stuff yep uh, you can facebook uh, uh raz holly fan club and then there's um, Instagram. It's both Ruby Bandit or Raz Holly. I do both. So okay, yeah. okay. And then as far as I'm concerned, if you can't get enough of me, you're already at my fucking channel here on YouTube, Dan Classic Show. Check out all the rest of my videos here as well. Um, but if you really can't get enough of me, every Tuesday night at the Underworld Collectors Facebook page, it's a, it's a Facebook group page. It is a private group. You do have to request to enter, but they'll let almost any of these motherfuckers in. So don't worry <laughs> about that. But you can come and you can see me live stream. And it's not unlike this. Every single week, Tuesday nights, 5 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Pacific. And I'm talking toys, pickups. Um, I drink some cocktails and I get real wild on Tuesday nights. And you come out and you get in the chat. And I talk to everybody in the chat. So if you want to do that, be sure to come see me. I'll be sure to, because you can see me and Raz Holly at the Underworld Collectors uh, Facebook group. We're both in it. Um, we're yeah. both members of that group. And I will link in the fucking description as to where that goes. Um, special thanks to uh, Count Stankus. And uh, as always, thanks. Let's, let's, let's give thanks to John Wild. John Wild, fucking great guy. I have to mention him in every single video now. I'm contractually obligated to fucking mention John Wild. <laughs> great channel too. John Wild's channel is awesome. Dude, his channel's great. Like he's like a like a fucking professional 
Like I'm just some schmuck yelling at fucking action figures. This guy's like <laughs> got real nice stuff. It's got great photography and stuff. And you do too. You're like, you don't need my fucking help to do 3000 goddamn subscribers. <laughs> anyway, fucking. So that's about all our time for now. Um, that is our show. Thank you so much for joining us on the Rise and Dan show. We'll see you next week. Goodbye.